Just the camera for your ass. There we go. Oh gosh. <laughs> Can I go back to my raft now? Can I? It's going away. This is my Psyduck. My Psyduck has pink on her hair. Even if it's three strands. Just the camera for your ass. There we go. Oh gosh. <laughs> Can I go back to my raft now? Can I? It's going away. This is my Psyduck. My Psyduck has pink on her hair. Even if it's three strands.
Oh no! Hey, what do you think of my new class? <gasps> no! Oh, no! Oh. I'd have to adjust the camera for your ass. There we go. Oh gosh! <laughs> Can I go back to my raft now? Can I? Okay, cool. I just, apparently I need to add that. Check, check. Hey, there we are. Let me remove that and that. And then, um, look, this is all very new and I'm having to give my cat lots of attention. Cause he needs attention. Uh, that's fine. That works. How is y'all's day? Hello, we've got Tinker. He needs all the attention. He needs, let me move this really fast. So I've got, there we go. How y'all doing? How you doing? Hello, Tinker needs attention. I need coffee. Fine. So I don't have the game open yet, uh, because realistically, y'all need to see this like opening scene. Like as it opens, as it turns on, you guys have to see that. It's great. Um, it's hilarious. I love it. Tinker is feeling all the Valentine's Day love, and he just needs the love. So we're just gonna. Holding his paws. Yes. Hi. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna chill till uh, we get some people in here. We get some people hanging out, walking. Oh, Tinker's just gonna hang out like this. You like my glasses? I wish I actually had glasses like this. Uh, it'd be nice. It'd be really cool. Where are you going? What are you doing? You where? Where? He's the sweetest boy. He's the sweetest boy. How was everyone's weekend? <laughs> Trying to get Monday going right. Ow, claw. I need to trim your claws. Go ahead. Go on. Go on. No. He said, go on to go. I wanna. I wanna be here, Mom. Oh. You need to let go of my shirt first and foremost, and then you need to get down. Oh, I've got claw marks all over my legs just from him trying to sit with me and hang out. Ow! Stink bug! Ah! My hair is still damp from today's shower. Um, let's see if Stream Elements tweeted out my stream. Let's see. Gonna look. Because it should have. Boop, boop, boop. We're checking. Hey! Uh, if you're hanging out and you get my tweet, if you could like and retweet it, the interaction makes it so that more people see it, and then we get more friends in the community, and then that's, that's just how we grow. So I'd appreciate it. Uh, head pats, head pats for everybody who who does that, cause I love ya. Appreciate it. And if you're not following me on Twitter, sorry, my phone's gross. Uh, what you doing? What you doing? You should be following me on Twitter. Uh, it's a good place to be. Very good place to be. Let's check Discord, see if Discord has posted it yet. Nope, has not. It will soon, though. It should soon, should in the next couple minutes. Um, 
the reason I'm waiting and not hopping in immediately to the game, I, I want as many people as possible to see this intro, this opening to the game, um, because it is beautiful. It is so awesome and so well done. We stand every minute of it. Um, and I think it'll give a good, like, start of the horniness to the, uh, <laughs> to horny on Monday. And this is gonna be great. It's gonna be good. The K of, the I love you, Colonel Sanders, a figure looking good dating simulator. <laughs> it's like the longest name. It's got such a long name. It's literally... I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. Colon. KFC dating simulator. It's so long. Such a long name. Ah. Uh, I might... I might get myself a snack. I haven't eaten anything at all today. I need to eat. It's noon-ish. I started on time. That doesn't... I mean... You're welcome. <laughs> it doesn't normally happen. I, you know, I might be actually, I think I'm pretty good at starting on time. I might be pretty good at that. Um, we've got snap camera on today and we added a brand new channel point redemption. So you can change my face. So you can literally, it's 2k points. It's really not that much, especially if you have points looking at you, Rhea and viral and griff and average uh you can come in and be like change your face and then we'll just do a random one um i wonder i wonder let's do I'm just adding hotkeys as if that's going to make any kind of difference. We'll see. We'll see. If I, I tend to not like hotkeys, um, but we'll see how long I can make it last, you know? Nope, that wasn't there. That's what I wanted. My nose is itchy. I'm just using my whole number pad. <coughs> okay, so I've got I've got some of them on hotkeys. We'll see. We'll see which ones are popular and we'll go from there. Um let me just move this really fast. So let's test out these hotkeys and it's my number pad. So until I hit a game that needs the number pad, boom, one, two. Three, four, five. Maybe I'll remove this one, six. Bruh. Seven. It's Trent. And his brother Brent. <laughs> uh. Two. Shrek. Uh, Potato. I might remove this one because I don't like this one as much. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. It's all right. Uh, let's do but <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> ah, la, la. They told me that the life of my dreams would be promised and always be mine. Um, so yeah, for 2k points, you can change my face for three minutes. And that's just what we do. And... And then after three minutes, I get two minutes of my face, and then you can do it again. 
it, it I, I do have it on a bit of a cooldown, uh, although there's no limit per stream how many times it can happen. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to go back to this because this is this is the vibe for today. Um, this is what we do in today. This is the feeling, you know? Drinking coffee always gets in the way. Uh, who watched the Super Bowl yesterday? It was a crazy game. I only caught bits and pieces of it, but I did see the end. Um, so it was like the Bengals hadn't been into Super Bowl since the 80s. And then this was the first Super Bowl that the Rams have been in, in their new stadium. So it was a big deal for both teams. Uh, I know nothing about football, but the uh, Rams won in their home stadium, which is a big deal. Uh, pretty cool. Hi, Azzy! Happy Valentine's Day! Hello! I hope you had a good one. I know your Valentine's Day is like over is done and gone did you get to see your partner today it's a height um we're just i'm just chilling till uh more people get here because i want like everyone earned this stream uh so the opening sequence to this game is just so uh because i had to I opened it. I had to make it fit. I'll have to readjust it probably again, but I wanted everyone to see it. Um, cause, yeah, it's a lot. This game is in is incredible. Uh, it's a lot of reading. Not today. We're uh been busy though, working on my friend's PC case. Nice. Well, I hope you get to see your partner soon. Hope you've been well. I did. I had a, a radio interview yesterday about the channel and what the work that I'm doing, the content that I'm making. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, the VOD is up now. So if you're interested in watching, it's only about 56 minutes long. It's pretty good. And I'm going to be going back for a second interview um, next month. So big big stuff it's it's been so much fun it has been absolutely a blast and uh i'm just so grateful to have these opportunities i honestly never considered that i'd have these kind of opportunities that i'd be on the radio talking about my community and my twitch and existing as a fat person and like food and it's just it was great. It was great. I enjoyed it so much. Um, and I hope everybody that watches it on the VOD enjoys it. I didn't find out until last minute that I could stream it. Um, and I contemplated it. And I, I, I wasn't sure at first that I was going to stream it. But I realized it's such a big moment for me um, that having having a recording of it that's mine and my like like I own was really important. Um it's not the greatest quality but cuz I did it on my phone again last minute but uh yeah it was so much fun. Uh if also if you want there um let me I've got I've got the link in the Discord. Let me open up my Discord and I will pop the link in chat. Uh, I don't know if their live is still up. Uh, I know mine is. I think they have to, like, watch it back. I think the owner of the radio, like, the owner of the channel, read, like, watches it back. Um, but it was so much fun. Let me check announcements. Nope. Nope. I can't, I can't be helped. I am just, sometimes I am big dumb. And that's okay. Barney on main. Welcome, Maria. So I haven't opened up. Oh, dang it. I did it again. That's why I, that's why I don't like hotkeys. Uh, I set hotkeys. So let's do this. So here is the link to the radio station. Um, they should have 
the video up soon. I don't know if it's up now. Um, Araya, I added a new channel point redemption to change my face. So, uh, I've got, I've got some of them bound already. Uh, although I might change some out as like, we, if we don't like them. Um, and so I set them for three minute. I'm going to set three minute timers and be like this boy for three minutes. And then, uh, I get two minutes to kind of just be myself in case people spam it. There's no limit, but there is a five minute cooldown, uh, because they're, we're going to do it for three minutes and then I get two minutes to just kind of be myself. Are you guys ready to be horny on main? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I haven't loaded up the game like I have just to make sure it'll fit in the in the in the the window. But I have not opened it up since like hitting the go live button because the intro sequence is so rad. They went above and beyond for it and um it's a lot and you guys deserve to see it. Uh it's just a lot. So when I go into here, I go into this scene, it will not, it's like, it's black. It, it's not going to show up, but it will once I open the game up. It's a lot. Um, ah, so good. So good. And for some reason, my chat bubbles aren't working. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why chat bubbles aren't working. Let me just do a test on the chat bubbles. Um, uh, hey, chat bubbles. Could you... Could you please work, chat bubbles? Chat bubbles? Chat bubbles? Yeah, no. <sighs> it's not gonna work. Anywho's, uh, I'm gonna hop into it. Let's hop into the game. It's gonna be uh, so good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like not even exaggerating. It's gonna be good. Let me just move this over here and let's open up. I love you, Colonel Sanders. Uh, I also have to make sure. What are you doing? <laughs> There we go. There we go. This is so good. Let me know if you can hear it. I think my headset turned off. Sure did. Camera, what are you doing? Honestly, though, you see that boy. You see that boy. Oh my gosh, he is. He is twenty three herbs and spices of just gorgeous. Um, they were like, we need, we need people to be horny for KFC, and they did it. They did, yeah. Everyone's just like, ah, it's good, it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna start a new game because, like I said, I've played this before, right? Um, it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading, but it's so good. I've never made it very far. Y like, one wrong decision and it's game over. But it's so good. How'd you like? How'd you like that intro? Was it ever? It was everything. <laughs> like, I know. I know it was everything, but I need you to know that it's everything. I'm adjusting some panels on my, uh, you know, on my, on my desktop. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, but yeah, isn't that intro just everything? Absolutely everything. Uh, I love it so, so much. Ow, Tinker. Uh, ow. Okay, come say hi. Come say hi. 
Yeah! We got the Tinker Boy today. Uh, because, of course, he is here to be needy and loving and needing all the attention. <sighs> Who caught my sh my live last night? Who caught my interview? Can I get some? Can I get ones in chat if you caught my interview? Uh, I'm so excited. I know Araya was there. I really appreciate you, Araya. You are the real deal. I love you so so much. You take too good a care of me, honestly. Oh no, my face is being covered by the by captions. I've got to move my face. Okay, I am sexy Colonel Sanders now. I love you too. I love you so much. Um, oh dang, everything's covered by the chat bubbles. I need to move, I need to move the stuff that's underneath that. Okay, so let's teak. We know, I know, I know. Hold on, stop it. You're hurting me. That hurts. When you do that, that hurts. Stop it, you little psycho. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This boy. He's so aggressive. He's just like, I need all of your attention. I'm just like, god damn. God damn. That is a, that is a fast track way to get down, good sir. Okay, so I'm going to move the stuff so that we can actually see uh, what's in the bottom right-hand corner. I never realized it's covered by, cla by captions. So let's do that. Uh, I've got to, there we go. And we're sitting at 269. Nice. So let's see how that looks. Eh. There, that's better. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready to do this? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get into it. We're going to start a new game. My nose itches. But, okay, we have to be really careful because one wrong decision and it's like, it's lights out. Like, the game is starting over. Uh, What's my name? What name should we put in... That's really loud. I don't know if it's loud for you. Um, but we're gonna do Horn Knee. Surname. Look at that food. It looks so good. I love anime food. It looks so always looks so nice. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. <laughs> or wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack the clock. Up and at him. Laying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that waits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take this seriously. Urgh. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth equals brushed. Hair equals combed. Pits equals deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit and strut out the door and head off to class. Isn't that so pretty? That's so pretty. You can't tell me that's not an attractive biscuit. Standing in the quad, you gaze up the magnificent University of Cooking of cooking school like had to be for learning. Look. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. I love Miriam. 
Look at this little bean. She is literally the cutest thing. Uh, she's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. She's the cutest, and she's just like... <laughs> I love it. Uh, good morning, Horn Knee. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Yes. Yes, I am. Actually, I'm... Because I sure am. Oh my god, that pose. That pose, I love it. I love all of this. Uh, excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, then I ate it and I couldn't taste my love of food or any love in the food. Oh, she crying! What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a high standard. Aww. Ever since we were little babies and playing together, you used... And you rescued me from the quicksand box. Yeah, that's not a big as, as big a problem as like we were led to believe quicksand would be. I was like, oh yeah, right around the corner, every corner's got quicksand. Watch out. Uh, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. We love Miriam. This is a Miriam stan account. Um, that's just the way it is. If you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> I need a... There's the door, bitch. There's the door! Uh, audio for these moments. Where I'm just like, if you don't like this, uh, you can you can leave. Because we stand this little bean right here. We stand her to the ends of the earth. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters. Three-day-only. I'm afraid of being left behind. If you don't hang, then here's the door. Exactly. I need, I need an audio. I need a stream. I need a stream deck that's got these all audios just like hot keyed. You know, my nose itches. That must mean virals here. Or at least he will be soon. That's how we know. That's how we know. You should pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief. We're gonna, we're gonna pep talk. We're gonna put so much pep in this bitch's talk. Uh, remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. She told you that you were destined for great things? Remember that card of the fancy looking tower? And the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. That's so poorly written. <laughs> this... <laughs> that's not even how we would talk. And you start in no time, and then you end in... I, this is not... This is not critiquing the writing simulator. Although, I could do that. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her, 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 her nerves begin to ease. <laughs> I, I, I broke for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Heck yeah. This is also a bang stan account. <laughs> we stan bangs. Uh, can you believe I cut them myself? Yes. Yes, I can, baby. You did a good job. You can definitely believe it, yes. Uh, I cannot believe it. Cannot. Not even a little bit. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. That is some... That is some privilege. <gasps> hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but she can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. She's a little snaggletooth queen. With the, with the heart on the bust? Dang. Ashley a hottie. She, like, to be age, yes. Yeah, she, she a big cute bean. Oh, look at them. You can't see them yet, but Ashley has some thighs. 
and she's got chicken thighs on her thighs. I you can you can kind of see it here, but I'll, you will we'll see it better later. Hello, Ashley. Oh, didn't see you there, chicken shins. Chicken shins. Oh my god, the amount of puns that are gonna be in this game. Uh, how can I? I know. <laughs> it's so good though. <laughs> yeah. You're like, here, take this. Please play it. It's amazing. Ah. <sighs> you leave Horny's shins alone. <laughs> they are perfectly normal shins. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley, even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Kinda wanna surprise them with it because they love KFC. Really? Heck yeah! I love a famous bowl. Famous bowls are so good. They're- I- they're just so good. I love it. They're just- yeah, this is such a fun game. I like it a lot. Uh, and I want to show you guys the- the magnificence that is her thighs, but I can't yet. Because it's covered by the box. Uh, if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Yes! We are the experts! The final ruling on everything that is shins. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Yeah, that was kind of weird. That was weird. <laughs> Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man-man. He looks straight out of the JoJo universe. As stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. That makes sense. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Well, let's see. Ahem. A Van Van. Look at this boy. Look at those lashes. And you know he's evil because he's got red eyes. That's how you know. Oh, I guess Miriam's evil. Everyone has red eyes for some reason. Look at the he's got like an apron. It's like <laughs> it's like a chef's outfit, but it's an apron. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Uh, look at that star on his head, though. He does. He looks just like a- he looks like a Joe star. You're very right. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Why do they say it all? Like, they just, like, lay the whole thing out on- on for you. Would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell off these two. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. Psh, see you later, losers. This guy's so cute! As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. This kid. <laughs> He's so cute! Oopsie! I think it's broken! You reach forward and easily pull the door open. <laughs> yeah! Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! You think- I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop! I was named after my Pop Pop! He's old. <laughs> I love this kid. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. I love this kid. Hi, Pop. I'm horny. <laughs> Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Um... I would just like to take this time and apologize for my decisions. Uh, I would- I would do them again. <laughs> but now it feels weird. <laughs> I- I'm here- I'm here for- for a white-haired god. And... There's a child. There's a literal child. Um, 
like to apologize to the Academy. Okay. Let's, now that that's over. Aww. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? Yeah. Like, I think it's just you. <laughs> oh, Miriam. You both shrug your shoulders before walking in. Rap, 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 rap. You stand at the edge of the room. I love this part because, I, like I said, I've played this before. I've never beaten this game, but I love this part. Um, you stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy by chit-chatting. It's the professor! He's the goodest boy. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at podium in front of the class. Adorable. Oh, it's a good boy. It's a good boy. Okay, you can see my mouse. I'm just like, what's a good boy? Ah, oh, he's so cute! Now, now, quiet down, everyone. He's gotta have a dapper voice. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? <laughs> you must be Sprinkles! Head instructor of C and CEO of UCSAL. UCSAL. You skull. That dog's eyes are doing things to me. Look, he's like digging into our souls. He's like, I have weighed you and tried you and you are not worthy. Give me a treat and pet me. Oh my goodness. Please. Oh, sorry. I didn't I mean to add a W. Please call me Professor Dog. Look at the beans. I may be cute, little, and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> what? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air and the classroom. I'm chilly! Someone close the window! I love pop. La 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 la. La 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 la. And then. Oof. Oof. He's got silver eyes. And then he, he walks in, the man himself, the man of the hour, the colonel himself, God amongst men. Mm. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> mm <-pff. laughs> That's what that sounds like to me. It's him! It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Arland! Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Oh. I really want her thighs. Look at his thighs, though. Van Van's got some thighs. Uh, and this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. What? Rude. But maybe we should open up that window back. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Look, the man is hot, okay? I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> the, <laughs> the posing of Miriam is just mm, fantastic. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what's with all your really weird insults? Besides, when horny sweats, it's not gross. 
It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Ah! Take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Dots. Professor Dog steps in to sell the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. Oh, the birthplace of culinary legends past, present and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. I've changed up his voice because he looks so dang cute. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And then when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your spooks and complete your broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom, interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Oh, hi guys. Sorry I'm late. Hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! <laughs> late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Oh no! Everyone stares at him blankly. This poor guy. This poor bean. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I... <laughs> Look at Tomato Teo. He's so cute. He's... He's just... <laughs> He's so cute even when he's mad. Let that be a lesson to you students. That tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time. Rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring. Who appears to be some sort of ki industrial kitchen appliance. I love Clank. This is also a Clank Stan account. <laughs> Clank is just the cutest boy. Uh, the class bursts into laughter. Oh, look at that smile. A cheeky boy. Clank is such a cheeky boy. Look at that little hat. Oh, so cheeky. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone is... As everyone stands silent in silent obedience, when he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking teach a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You try to des you decide to try to butter him up by giving him a cheat a treat. From your pocket, but what kind? Of course it's gotta be chicken. This is KF motherfucking C. Gotta give him that C. You reach beneath your apron to return the chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes goes wide as he locks onto it. My favorite! Well, 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 I think we might have some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. That's an image. You see the other students eyeing you with jealousy, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. You want to be good in this world, just carry chicken loose in your pocket. You can take that to the bank. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened uh, to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing in front of the room. Only two options remain. Here's the thing. We're getting horny. Not being buddy-buddy. We are already best friends, Miriam. I love you. Miriam, I love you. You're a babe. But we trying to land some of that, that 23 herbs and seasonings. Uh, so we gonna sit with the Colonel. Harland. It seems no one has claimed a seat next to me, if you're interested. Sit 
by Colonel Sanders. We... We want to see what's under that apron. Okay? You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. My chair is stuck. Cannot move it. Uh, it appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. Completely unprepared. Completely unprepared. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all that you can and the best that you can. It's the only way you'll ever get the feeling of accomplish something. Listen, he goes from like hottie, like he's hot, right? But right now he's a whole ass stick of salami. This is a beefy boy. He might sell chicken, but that's, I'm just seeing all beef right there. That is 100% beef. Beefy boy. I, I can't. Too beefy. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, what have we what are what have we done? Oh, this is this is too good. As soon as you settled into your seat, Professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay! A quiz about me! <laughs> this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? <laughs> Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. That's right. <laughs> the forest is to tree as chicken is to night vision goggles. What the fuck? Is to... Feather? That's right! I'm so smart. I have the biggest brain. Um... I have so many brain cells you could not imagine. Uh, my brain cells have been scanned by big smart science men, and they say, Rai, you have the biggest brain, and we would like to explain, we would like to expand and look at it and research your brain cells. You've got so many brain cells, more brain cells than honestly we have, and we're big smart science men. Uh, and, and then I, I, I said, hey, big smart science men, no. This genius right here stays right here, untapped, unfiltered, underutilized. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's my, it's my monologue. It's fine. I've been... I've never rehearsed that. <laughs> what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? The spork? That's right. KFC patent pending spork. <laughs> what food is best for a broken heart? Camel meat. Anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. That's right. I am so smart. My corgi tells me so. Is Sprinkles a good boy? No. Wrong answer. He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. That's right. The best boy. Your total score is perfect score. Five out of five. And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> I had I had a digital stream deck all set up. Uh, but then it was like, hey, pay me. And I'm like, hey, I'm poor, so no. Um, and it was really nice. I had, like, had, like, sounds hooked up to it. That would be very cool. 
Uh, if I had a third monitor to go above this, this my first monitor, I'd have a stream deck up there, and because like I've got, you never you can uh, streamer tip you can never have too many monitors. <laughs> I need another monitor. I've got I've got two, but I need a third. Um, it's a problem. Five out of five. Wow. Be honest. Did you cheat? Corgi is so cute. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching your tally score. Watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Look, he's like... He's a hottie. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! I love you too! I hope you're enjoying the stream for what you can watch. Today is Deegan's first day back at the office since, like, the new year. Uh... And it's weird to not have him here. But I, I hope you enjoy the stream. Um We're trying we're trying to to jump the famous bowl of this man right here. It's Colonel Sanders. I hope you're having a great day, honey. We love you. I don't like you being in the office, because you're away. It's weird. It feels weird to not have you at the house working. Honestly, you're probably getting a lot more done, but yeah. I love you. <sighs> We're so sappy. We're so sappy. Okay, get it together. Get it together. So I have to I have to get into the mode. Cause our name is Horn Me. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Thank you. It's the best brain. Uh, I know you're jealous of me. It's fine. You can be jealous. Give me that chicken. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, KFC actually sounds good now that I'm playing this. Like a famous bowl just sounds really good. A famous bowl sounds really good. Eh. Hot diggity, horny. <laughs> you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. That's a lie. Uh, I know Famous Bowl sounds so good. A famous bull sounds so good. Eh. Uh, <laughs> it makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? Must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. <laughs> Everyone cheers. <laughs> but I... Shh! Lunch! 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 Phone. Phone. Could you please? We're trying to be horny. We're trying to be horny. She said shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. <laughs> that must be the smell I smelled. Indeed. Yeah, total fucking beefcake. Total fucking beefcake. My bangs are not agreeing with me today. That's fine. When are they ever? Uh, that smell. You hold your breath to see what the mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented. But were the rumors true? Is this 
Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. The contents glimmer in the light. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Piled high. My mother-in-law was on the phone. For the safety of everyone, I just muted my mic. <laughs> I think she's on the phone with a doctor. You know, old people making doctor's appointments and stuff. Uh, okay. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you. And you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a, a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept! Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices okay sometimes we don't think about things i i have to like Yes, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Nothing less than 11 herbs and spices, come on, we're trying to be horny, are required to achieve perfect, the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. Come on! <laughs> What? You, what? You think we want your stupid secret recipe? Dude, pshaw. Nah, my dude, nah. <laughs> I'm just, uh, drafting last will and testament. Encased one of those ingredients is a poison. Got him. <laughs> he looks around nervously to see if anyone's laughing at his sick bird. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. You cannot see his face right now. I have to move my camera so that you can see his face. Uh, give me one second. I've got... Hold on. We're gonna be... Look at that boy! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that face! I love it. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. <laughs> Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment, at the, uh, I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. Get away from my man, number one. She realizes that she's destined, that he is destined for greatness uh, and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. How dare you? Van Van, oh please. Oh please, look at it. She's so freaking cute. She's the cutest thing. Hmm. Well, Van Van, the man-man, if you don't want any. I'll take his. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. Oh, no, Ashley is dumb as her name is spelled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like, 
She cute though. She cute though. I wish that like it would do a full body because like her thighs are just good. We love thighs. Big thigh person. I love thighs. We love thighs here. Uh, this is a thigh stand account. <laughs> he takes one bite and oh my god, his hair. And his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. His hair just went nuts. His hair's been crazy. <laughs> Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Sorry if the uh, mic <laughs> was making some noise. I had to move it. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. So, we've got some options. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light! Uh, we're gonna focus on the boy. Because that's why we here. That's why we here. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? No, they're not. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Ah, oh, what a dreamboat. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I uh, wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef? What exactly is on that chicken? <gasps> How bold to come out and ask. Oh, he's got a chicken cane! Oh no. Oh no. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own. I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know one another. We got three. Put that face away, sir. That's so rude. That's so rude. He's clearly not going to give it up easily. But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. I am so smooth. I am so smooth. I've got more game in this game than I've got... In general, hard stop. It's got, yeah, I've got no game. You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders look, looks both ways to make sure that you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use blank. It's something my great grandmother taught me. Blank? Wow. You I you'd never guess that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you wrapped this, you're wrapped up in this huge revelation. 
You notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria? You decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my, my story will continue on after I've graduated. How I will have a partnership um, with the Bell of Taco or the Hut of Pizza and we will make combined chains together. It will be beautiful. Sounds like you have big plans. Dare I say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Is that a tear in his eye? He's got a teardrop in his eye. Like, I wish I could zoom in on that. Alone together for the first time. You figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show you, to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea. Be modest but thoughtful. We're gonna be modest but thoughtful. We don't want to come off too strong. We've already been like... Eh, 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 all over him, so let's just... Well, I just wanted to tell you, I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. Steamy. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Horny. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into a massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools needed and ingredients they could need. Look at this place! It's magnificent! Finally, we get to show off our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no! We have to show our stuff! What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans. You're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. She makes tiny foods! Aww, I love it. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena! For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you. But unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Look, Miriam, I love you, right? Um, I'm trying to get this chicken. We trying, we trying to get these eleven herbs and spices. Um, you see that eggplant right over there? Yeah. You want it? Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is? Me and you, if that wasn't clear? Want to be my partner? Oh, Miriam! Aww. Sure, Horny. I'll prepare our station. Woo! Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Pop. Hello, new partner! Hmm. Oh my! Two potential partners. So sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Hey, Griff! How's it going? How's it going? My friend, we are getting horny on main today. We're playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Uh, a KFC dating simulator. It's so good. It's so cheesy. And, um, yeah. Welcome. All right, just got done with work. Heck yeah! So now I'm gonna chill. Heck yeah! Enjoy, enjoy the horniness. Because <laughs> California's in a drought, and so we are always thirsty. 
Ah! Uh, who do you want to be as Miriam's partner? Uh, the robot Clank. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay, I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Pop is so cute. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Look, Clank is just the cutest. We love Clank. Ah, look at that little smile. It's so cute. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know what the assignment is yet. Technically, Clank may not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Look at that little face. I just love them. We love that little face. He is just such a cutie patootie. Like, I'm gonna turn- I'm gonna turn my light down. I wonder if it, like... Is that good? Is that better? Am I less washed out? It's fine. Any hoozles. Bzzzt. Tissue, I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank judders, and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression this is a sign of affection. Yo. Getting some romance between the robot and Miriam, am I right? Love them spices. Hell yeah, viral. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, we have been soups horny. Big horny right now. Um, right now we're shipping Miriam and Clank together. They're very cute. Uh, but like, look at this boy. Let me show you. Howdy, howdy. Uh, I hope that you have a great, I wish you had a great day. I hope you did. I hope it was fantastic. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on our own cooking classwork. If you're, if you're just showing up and you haven't seen this boy yet, look. Number one. Number one, look at this man. Dreamboat. And then sprinkles. Ooh, adorable best boy ever all right you two for today's lesson we're gonna keep it simple pick a basic dish and divide up the steps no chef is an island it takes two flints to make a fire you get the idea which dish do you suggest to your partner colonel sanders okay we're going to keep it simple so steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy. You don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Nah, this is a man. Uh, this is a man who likes the simpler flavors in life. Yes, the professor. He is the best boy. He is the best professor, and he is the professor, and he is the best boy. Uh, your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. I've always been something of a home down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> <gasps> and gravy? Colonel, you beefcake. Of course. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel C Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you. Causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. And our name is Horny? I'll go get the potatoes. No, please. Let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Uh huh. Now I want some fried chicken. I'm. They did such a good job. Making this like make you really want KFC, cause like the second I started playing, I'm like, dang, now I want a, now I want a famous bowl. I want a famous bowl, man. Give me that mashed potatoes, gravy, some chicken bites, that corn, that cheese. Oh, melty! It's oh, so good, so good. And notification squad, we love it. Thank you so much for getting my notification and using my notification. Sometimes Twitch does not send out the appropriate notifications and people don't end up getting notifications until I'm done streaming. 
which is great. Uh, also, we've got a snap filter on today because uh, it's Valentine's Day. Also, if you check the channel point redemptions, there's a new channel point redemption where you can change my face for three minutes. Uh, it is on a five minute cooldown. There is no limits to the amount of times it can be used. Uh, but we sit in that face for three minutes and then two minutes I sit in my own face, whatever filter I want between, and then you can just keep going. Uh, but yeah, now that we've done that. Also, ones in chat, if you caught my radio interview yesterday. Uh, so much fun. I know a couple people were there. Uh, I know Viral was there. He watched on their website. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the lurk. Viral Drive safe. Heck yeah, Aurea took care of me. Uh, Griff, you should have been there. Called your ass out. <laughs> Uh, it was good. It was good. I had a great interview, uh, and we're gonna be doing it again next month. So if you enjoyed it, we're gonna be coming back. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Griff, you should watch it. I can't be everywhere. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I do have the VOD. So I did stream it, so there is a VOD of it, so you can watch it. Change your face, you got it! Do you have a preference? If not, I'm just gonna pick one. I'm just gonna pick one. You have a preference, Viral? I'm getting my timer ready. So when I get my time, when I'm done getting the timer ready, I'm just gonna pick one. Potato! You got it. You got it. Okay, let me set a three minute timer. Oh, wrong way. Waiting for it to change on stream. Hey, we a potato. Uh, so this is the one I'm switching it to for now. Hey, 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 I'm a spud and a stud and we're horny on oh, main because it's Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day uh, coming from this spud. You know what? I think I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna hold on, hold on. We gotta put on this boy. We're gonna we're gonna do this boy. Um, because look at these. Oh, oh. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Study spud. Because it's Valentine's Day. So, we're gonna do this. Buff Tato! Mm. Yeah. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna head back to... Yeah, you should've... Yeah. I got it. I understood, though. I got it. Uh, so, I'm gonna put that back over there. <laughs> and we gotta go through this. Okay. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Yeah. Potatoes and gravy. <laughs> Mind your own business. <laughs> Sanders' heart is my business. And you better keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me? No, Van Van. No one called for you. No one. Ugh, no. Jeez, Van Van. I'm just over here ho cr here crushing Horny's dreams. Drive safe, Viral! Uh, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley, Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duo now? No. Uh... Actually, no. Looked like Horny was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. 
Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it. Oh, okay. All right. We back. Thank you so much for the buff tato. Van Van is a cocky bitch. Hundo percent. Hundo percent. Personally, I have no doubts whether or not about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't feel deep down that we, don't you deep, don't you feel, I can't read, I can't. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. But one thing is clear, she's coming for Colonel Sanders if you don't watch out. Aren't we all? Ashley is really going at you hard. Gosh! Stop. <laughs> Stop. Going at me hard. <laughs> I can't. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders, hunk of hunks, in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. <sighs> I'm gonna go to Colonel Sanders. He knows. He knows. I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? Colonel Sanders, a businessman respects all fair agreements. From contracts to hand handshakes, I took on Horny as my partner for this activity and I stand by it. Hell yeah! Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Horny's natural talent or their loyalty. What can I say? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just a talented person, okay? I'm just, like, kind of the best. It's so good. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for Sprinkles in hopes he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mash texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps <laughs> you know so well while <laughs> your attention was elsewhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Enjoy your hunt, Griff. Uh, I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and I'm glad that you're off of work. I just know what to do. Look at that beef hunt. Look at that hunky boy. Hunky boy! Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. <sighs> Ooh. Smother me. Smother me in gravy. Call it a day. Cover me in gravy and call it a day. Oh. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Ooh. Look at that steam. Ooh, baby. Steamy, steamy. Ah! Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab a hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork 
And for a small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Let's just take a second to enjoy this man. Ooh! If your mashed potatoes aren't covered in gravy for this man, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a similar look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. No, no, we had this moment. You can't take this from me. And then filled with rage without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Are we into Ashley too? We just like don't like that we're into Ashley. Ah. Van Van, do something. Skipping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realize that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with as much love and integrity? Hold on right there, horny. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I fling it onto Colonel Sanders? Like, dead ass. Can I just fling food onto Colonel Sanders? I'll eat it. Can I have potatoes, face? Van Van rushes back over with a, a covered dish in his hands. Oh man, these poses, they're great. Uh, mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Graze, gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus with my silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. That's so metal. <laughs> You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite. And you will all look on with envy. But it's not mashed potatoes. It's not. His hair, though. His hair. You know, I'm just going to move my camera to the other side. This is fine. This is fine. Um, I probably should flip it. I want to see how that looks. I just don't want to be in their way, you know? Just gonna... I, I feel like I'm more in the way over here. I don't know. I am... You've ignored me for too long. Ah, my dish. It's been taken by a student. That's, that's my... Ah! I was just trying to move a thing and I couldn't move the thing. Um, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Give me one second, I'll be right mentally back. Can you peep the tinker in the background? He's just chilling on the chair. Okay. Oh, this guy's gonna eat the octopus. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The result could be toxic. Too late, it has been eaten. Van Van, I, uh, I think I left something in the oven. Ah, his face! I don't feel so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that clip, Aurea. <laughs> I love that. Oh! It killed him! Oh, no! Student that nobody knew existed. 
Everyone, step back! Don't take another bite! Oh no, when you look back at the plate, the rest of it's gone. You notice that the tip of the tentacle being slurped in Pop's mouth. Pop winces from pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie! He's like poisoned! The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Yeah, damn it, Pop! Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kind. Poor student. Poor student. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. <laughs> That's great. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Oh, poor ghost of student. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. That poor kid. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken another, taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today before you go on- oh, sorry, this is me. Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. It was just muscle memory. Not a flex, just the truth. You know how it is. They were amazing. Tasting them. It reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously so important to him. In a way, you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time that you're to tell him that you're developing feelings for him. Colonel? Sanders? Yes, Horny? There's something I need to tell you. Uh -huh. Hold it right there. Damn it, Van Van! There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest shelf the world has ever seen. Oh, he's crying. And every day since then, I have been working towards that dream day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. <laughs> we should follow our dreams with all our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes, floating on a shooting star. Ooh. Hey, no, I, you, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. No, Van Van. <laughs> Put your hair down. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that! <laughs> no! Yes, we can! Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long... Sad sigh. Forget him! We're talking about me! Me, 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 me! I'm the hero! <laughs> the Spork Monster! No! <laughs> no, Spork Monster! Get out of here, Spork Monster! <laughs> yeah, Van Van. 
I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds! How dare you threaten me, just as I was letting my guard down and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. How dare. How dare. Rude. Be afraid. Be very afraid, because I'm a monster. See? He's rhyming on purpose? Or is he rhyming on purpose? Or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight scene! What will you do? Defend. You decide to defend. Which defense will you choose? My eye itches. Trepidation? You close your eyes tight, but then open one just enough to squint and see the spork monster across the battlefield. For some reason, this makes you feel more prepared for what comes next. Spork monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. Ew! You take one damage. Fat, a lot of good that defense did. Fine, we're going to attack. Cook with love. Cook with love does one damage! Spork monster won't forget this. Spork monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Attack! You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love! Cook with love does one damage! Spork monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they're all going on the attack once again. Spork monster does utilitensile. You take two damage from the attack. I'm just taking lots of damage. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Attack! Cook with love! One damage! Spork monster is oozing cheese sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who is going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable... Spork Monster prepares his ultimate attack! Rounded Edge! It's just a spoon. Vile villain! Your reign of terror stops here! You just wanted to show up now? You're like, hey, hold on. I gotta go grab my my, my chicken cane. I'll be right back. And then eh, I'll come in and save the day. You know how it is? But hold down the fort while I just go do that real fast. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, buddy! <laughs> Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens! bad. Pot pie power pinch! <laughs> I think that's supposed to be punch. No, it's supposed to be pinch. Pot pie power pinch does 10 damage. Spork monster is defeated. Oh, you saved me. Oh my gosh. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. You manage to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he is still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast, and don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back, like you said. The spork monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left us behind a special item! It appears to be a cookbook. But upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open it to find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Borco. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack 
has left you completely depleted and the world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. Oh, Colonel, this is awkward. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel the covers being pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. Night, my... Colonel. In your dreams, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there. <laughs> Instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. This is easy, 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 easy. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories? Premonitions? And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? Except we don't get to look. It's probably just because he knew he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might like Clank! Oh, I ship it. Like him? Like, like, like? I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. I told him, he told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in high school? Aww. No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king in his school, and he didn't even- at a school he didn't even go to. <laughs> he was also the convertible that he- uh, that he himself rode was at the front of the homecoming parade. Dang. I'm thinking maybe- <laughs> I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. Either way, maybe it'd be best to- if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school. Uh, the most famous student to ever attend the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. You're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? I guess. Rude. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. I am. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie's eyes light up. Mm. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Okay, come here. Speaking of dramatic echo, come on, hop up. Good boy. We're gonna, we're gonna, okay, you're gonna sit here, okay? You're gonna, no, you're gonna sit here. And we're going to be horny for Colonel Sanders. Do, 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 do. Little pause, take a pause. He's so sick of my shit. Uh, but he always wants to, he always wants love. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. You're gonna sit here? To be okay, he's just gonna he's gonna sit here. You can't see him and I can't reach the camera to bring it down, but he here He a good boy. Dots 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 everybody That's the DMCA free version of shots it's called dots. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. Tinker doesn't like my Miriam voice. Tink, it's okay. It's okay, Tinker. No, I don't like it. No, big booty. Big booty boy. You're like taking the one hand that I need. 
sir. Yeah, you. Oh, okay. I had headbutt the headphones. Hello. Goodness. Goodness. Eh. I've got to hold you with the other hand. This is just the Tinker Stream. Welcome to the Tinker Stream. Where he takes over everything. Because he's a needy boy. And he can't be made happy. Tail! I guess we're taking a tinker break. Hold on. Let me... Let's... Tinker break! You can't see him, but like... like here he is. <gasps> Hi! Hi, it's a tinker break! Are you happy now? Is... Sweetest boy. Sweetest boy. Needs all the attention. Uh, how's your guys' Valentine's Day going? Do you have any Valentine's Day plans with your honeys, with yourself? You know, get some self-love on, you know? Gotta get your self-love on. Tinker needs all the attention. Uh, there's- he's got no sense of boundaries. He absolutely has zero sense of boundaries. Um... And he just, he just wants so much attention. What's over there? Nothing. Nothing is, oh, he's an itchy boy. The itchy. Yeah, are you good now? You're just gonna, you're just taking over? This is, this is his stream now. Um, okay guys, that's gonna be it for me. Enjoy your real, the real star of the show. Um... <gasps> this beautiful boy. Ah! Sweet bean. Love this boy. He's gonna get so frustrated at me really fast. Ah! You moving shit, sir. Hi! Are you gonna... Goodness gracious! We're gonna flop you sideways. There. There! Is that what you want? Is that good? Is that fine? <laughs> this tinker time. If you've got tinker emotes, can I see them in chat, please? Tinker needs all the attention. Uh, and not just from me. He needs attention from you guys. Look at he just will not look. Look at this handsome boy. Aw, yay! Okay. He's over it. He's over it. Uh, we're gonna back up here. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Yay! Tinker emotes! Thank you so much. Uh, let's get back to the game. Eh. I think in a minute I'm gonna take, like, a real break. Uh, grab myself something to eat. Because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything at all today. Uh, and it's important. And that way we can be, like, fully nourished and, like, hella hungry. Uh, and super thirsty for that freaking Colonel Sanders. He told me about his passion for spices. Secret spices. Where's my camera? Or my, my cursor. I meant my cursor. What I meant. It's what I meant. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was for a... It was a powdered form, or cr powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals. And if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. <laughs> he was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked them, a very strange feeling came over me. And the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. Girl just smuggled drugs into the country. Oh my god. Miriam, you smuggled... Miriam, Miriam, you smuggled drugs into the country. How dare you? 
I thought, I thought you knew better. You were high. That's what that was. That concludes the ASMR portion of the stream. Uh, I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. No. Well, I'm definitely not to sh supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please, please! It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or Colonel Sanders. Um... <laughs> what do you think? Should, should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret? Or share it with your bestie? Look, we're trying to get that eggplant from the chicken man. I'm gonna make up a fake ingredient. You quickly think about a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about... It was Eye of Newt. Oh, no. Oh, no. It sounds... I know it sounds like some kind of witch's potion. But what can you do? Eye of Newt! Wow! That was Pop's voice. I'm so sorry. Uh, her eyes light up imagining such a thing. And you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm what she was that she was definitely not texting her secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossoms fill the air. Ah. Hi. Hello there. Hi. Is that... Is that Barbie's horse? Hi. Hello. Um. Oh. Hi. Dang. Got the good stuff. He's got that good good, you know? Shows up on a horse. Ah, oh, what a man. It's Colonel Sanders! He's arriving at school! Stand back and admire his majestic glory, or run to him. We're going to admire his majestic glory. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. <laughs> Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. Have you ever wanted to be a horse so bad? Just want to be that horse. Purely for science, though. Um, you are so struck. By the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I uh, didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horseful beaut you have. I mean, what a horseful beaut you have. Dang it, that's what I just said! Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, horny, just... Oh, Horny just gets really nervous around people they like. Stop! That's not helping! I mean, they got food poisoning and we're up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. Oh, Miriam. Oh, Miriam. Miriam, why? Miriam. She gives you a wink and smile as if to say situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. And with that, thank you, Miriam. I, I... Thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Miriam. Colonel Sanders dis disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam uh, to follow. When you enter the classroom, you see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad, bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like, counterfeiting recipes bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon? Bad? 
You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder. But he sees you coming. Well there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? What? Act like you're not interested. Tell him to stop acting immature. You immediately dress the rivals down for their immature behavior. Culinary school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. Boom! Hell yeah. Get fucked. Now you've upset them. Get fucked, Ashley and Van Van. Get absolutely fucked. Also, I'm covering the titties. I'm so sorry, Ashley. I'm covering your titties. That was not my intention. Uh -huh. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? Yeah. I'm not sure you'd know a good meal if it ate you. Colonel's a whole-ass meal. And he could... You know. You know, you know. If you know, you know. Colonel Sanders is a whole-ass meal, and he could, yeah. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity and panache. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. The big, like, doe eyes. He's just like... You finally get to look at what they were hiding and you instantly recognize it. It's a book, just like the one that you found after your encounter with the spork monster. That's the same book I found last night in the quad! ba na na, -na. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom, and its contents are secret. You notice that they haven't been just studying the book. They've got Pop pinned to the wall, and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them with his mouth. God damn it, Pop! <laughs> We're playing! <laughs> oh no, Pop. Pop, no! Before you can dig any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of one of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep, beep. <laughs> That's the Roadrunner. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. <gasps> hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts! You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Just bop! Oh, he's got, like, a little angry smoke coming out of his head. Oh. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. You're not even... Not even from a stand mixer. I love this so much. Womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. <gasps> no! Clank, your mother wasn't a stand mixer. We're bzzzed. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. <laughs> Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? Surely. Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena. At least. Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got a lofty... I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. Man. He tried for like two seconds to be the hero and he couldn't pull it off. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class. Today, he's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a duh. <gasps> -da -da -da. Students, students, please take your seats. I'm so sorry. Where am I supposed to be? I keep, like, I'm in the way. I'm in the way. Where am I supposed to exist in, in this screen? I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. 
I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town. With my legs are tiny and very, very tired. Uh. But I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. <laughs> Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson, truly you do. Which is in why, which is why in 1776, after signing the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss the most important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a, ver a tray of food in front of you. Well, horny? Naturally, this appears to be a sample platter. Which items do you want to sample? Oh. Glass of water. You grab the glass of water. It's cool and crisp, like the purest snow melted by a mountain spring. Hey! Now... <laughs> No! It was from my favorite toilet. You owe me six dollars. And you've got excellent taste. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you. Someday? Come on, it's time for lunch. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook-off. The level of theatrics these two is off the charts. Demand they stop wasting everyone's time. Step up and tell them you're on. You're on. A bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If you have to wipe the tables... If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down, then so be it. I'm not the fool, you're the fool, fool! Okay. <laughs> Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption, horny. Hell yeah! I'll be watching your performance, as always. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkles steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sports sing court. Because everyone knows you do sports in sportsing courts. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face. Flashing the words, timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Haroo! <laughs> I stand corrected. That's fine. The, way, the hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. Oh, Colonel Sanders. Oh, uh, she's got a chain on her blade with a heart knife. You may not be able to see it because of the captions, but I'm just going to shut up a second. And let it, let it kind of, like, work its way out. Okay, the captions aren't gonna stop. So, I tried. <laughs> I tried. I will defeat you myself! You had his chicken, and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. And you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer turns runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Uh. Oh! What? Oh, I'm so sorry! Get your head in the game! I'm so sorry. You're gonna need to season the chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. Uh, eleven. That's right. You may not know the ingredients, but you're heading in the right direction. Tail wagon intensifies. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most 
Trust. That's wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm begging you to get together. Get it? I'm a dog. It's never a wrong time for some dog jokes. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace if you want to survive. Okay. When you were a child, your father told you never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Uh... That's right! It's road shot! You're not gonna miss it! Okay. Aroo! <laughs> you try to shut out the noise in the room and focus on your cooking. What's the sound of success? Sizzling. That's wrong! Dang it! Don't make me get the spray bottle! <laughs> Is this the end? Yep! Game over. I told you, it just ends so abruptly. Am I gonna have to do all of that over again, or can I just start on- <gasps> Okay, cool. Let's do this. La I need to get my serious face on. Hold on. I need to get my serious- Serious face on. Um. This is my serious face. I need to adjust. What is going on? Hey. Okay, so I need to... Oh uh, man, this is my serious face. Let's do... I'm trying to... Make the... Make it... You know, a little bit more cropped, you know? That was not what I meant to do. We gotta get our serious face on. There. There. Okay, we're gonna get this right this time. Thank you for your patience since I got my serious face on. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna- we're gonna get through this. Uh, you're on. We're gonna try this again. I've already read all this. You know what it says. Timer! Aroo! Ah, oh, Colonel Sanders. What a babe. All right. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Hell yeah, I got it right. 11 herbs and spices. Hell yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Vigilance! Wrong! Okay, I'm so sorry. Next question. Never forget what you came from! Small town where big dreams are born! Aroo! Try to shut out the noise and focus on your cooking. The sound of success is bubbling. Okay, apparently it's silence. I don't understand that. Don't make me get the spray bottle. Next question. You know, it's Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, horny. Thank you. He's actually cheering you on. Which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you're doing. Now you think about his Colonel Sanders. On, on that horse. How many spoonfuls of gravy would it take to fill a traditional... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Girl, you're stranded on a desert island. Only one does a cookbook. Which one do you take? What a hunk. I mean, really, though. I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Sorry. Gah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> you're really struggling to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements for her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up the time, you toss your biscuit dough into the stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. Eh, hey, yikes. 
I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in the kitchen battle, but sometimes it means sacrificing a personal touch. Where you might not have any hands, but Horny does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and a hard way. Don't get you don't get far by doing the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hands into the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. Horny, no! Oh no! But you're not fast enough. Oh no! I gotta take off my serious face. This is so sad. Oh no! I can never find the glasses. There they are. Oh no! That's so sad. There's no way I'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. He's crying. What you often find is the easiest way it can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone, stop what you're doing. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Aw, too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no. It wouldn't be fair to compare you two on the account of Horny's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. That's not a good lunch. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Horny to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquette, atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry jelly. I mean, it looks fancy as fuck. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate mm. sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you. <laughs> as he places the sauce-covered finger onto his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize the rage you feel. Your rage burns intensely with your eyes that burst into flames. The flames cause what? What? I'm sorry. I literally combusted. I'm. I'm literally on fire. Okay. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash. They fall off your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. Embarrassed. And ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run for the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. Oh my god. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably to tell you that he had he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from with, from, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get you checked out. I'm fine. Can you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'm not a mas- I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome. Successful. Motivated. <laughs> okay. Well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. What? You were an OB and you failed 
as an OB. Wh how did you fail as an OB? I was passionate about justice, but failed as a lawyer. How many things have you tried, sir? Like, did you just go to law school and you're like, meh, I suck at this. You went to, like, doctor arbitration OB school and you're like, meh, I suck at this. Like, oh my gosh. I was passionate about livestock, but even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially mu humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. He's a jack of all trades. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. That makes sense. Like, this is probably, honestly, like, the truth. Also, welcome in, Cookie Bear. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you enjoy this uh, horny on mainstream where we're just, like, simping over Colonel Sanders. Humiliating. Humiliating. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he failed at a lot of jobs, but he... Woo! Went to that three-day semester at this school and became the best chicken boy that ever chicken boyed. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved that... I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I love this game. This is the greatest, like, PR I've ever seen. He wasn't successful at anything until he was in his 60s or 70s. Dang. And then he just, like, he hit it. When you get it right, you get it right. What can, what can I say? I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! Thank you, Pop. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepared for the worst. Borco? It is I. I know I said I wouldn't be back after the whole fight to the death thing, but uh, it, maybe you don't really want to see me anymore, but I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you and I apologize. I know what it's like having always look over your shoulder. Oh, Borco! Oh, the sweet bean! This is now a Spork Monster Stan account. That's this is what it is. <laughs> monster, pro <laughs> monster problems. Am I right? Okay, so hold on. Let me. We're gonna. So <laughs> I had to put myself in the middle because that way you could see him. So this is the Spork Monster. Um, in this game, in the night before, he attacked Colonel Sanders and I. We were having a moment. We were having a moment. And yes, it is drilling gravy. It is the spork monsters. So it's sporks, mashed potatoes, and gravy. And it was a whole battle sequence. And we spared its life. And we told it that, um couldn't come back to attack us. And so he's like, I know you don't want to see me, but... <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe, like, right here where my camera is is the best place where I'm not going to be in the way. I feel like this is where I'm going to be not in the way. Uh, also, I'm the center of attention. Just kidding. Um, so I'm just going to put it myself right there. But yeah, so that's what this thing is. He's just coming back to apologize 
for attacking me. It monster problems, am I right? Aw, oh, thanks, Porco. And our name is Horny. Because we're horny on main today. Uh, I'm glad there are no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of the night can really rile a person up. I also want to apologize for the way I switched right into attack mode. Look, I, I know that you're strong and cooking school can put a person under a lot of pressure or stress. I actually used to go to the school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no. No, I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student. One day, some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. A magic spell book? Precisely. I had procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way, I've lost it. If you could find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. I want to change him back. You're a powerful chef and shouldn't rely on such dark evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through the sorcery and guile. Poor sorcery spork monster. If you need me, don't fear. I will be here. Yeah, we need to get him back! Ah! We need the baby back! The lab! Labrador, the Labrador, the Labrador. It sounds like there's some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Horny, together, I am sure we can defeat them. Yeah, Colonel. Come back to my hideaway. And we can discuss. Oh. Oh, Colonel. A personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Colonel. We're going for the real good boy. Oh my gosh. Look, he's got a cock. It's right there. Oh, you can't see it. I'm so sorry. It, it's underneath the captions. And it's a chicken. He wants them thighs. Look, Colonel Sanders can have whatever the fuck he wants. Look, oh my god. Look, there's a baby picture of him. And he's got the glasses and mustache. And then a Kentucky picture of, like, Colonel Sanders. Like, Colonel Sanders. Stepping inside Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. I, gosh, I wish that, like, the caption, like, I could, I wish I could move the captions. Um, they're important, but I wish I could move them. Oh, me, horny. It looks like you have such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Homie's got a tear in his eye. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there's one thing. There is something. It's just a side dish that I've been thinking... Ah, my nose itches. Sorry, my nose itches. That I've been tinkering with. Trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. <laughs> is that his dead wife? Or the 11 herbs and spices in that herb? Ah! Either way, we go into town. We go into town. Down. Either way. <laughs> Your dead wife and the 11 herbs and spices can watch. Focus. Focus. Camera. Camera. Focus. Come on now. Here we go. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both? Perhaps? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation or keep it a secret just for you? I don't know. I've never I've never made it this far. Never made it this far. Um 
Okay. We trust him, so we're gonna reveal it to him. You decide that you're ready. You're as ready. Never reveal your secrets! But we trying to bone! We trying to bone. Like, I wanna see what's under that apron. <laughs> you decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive head first you reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you my original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux Hideaway. <gasps> <gasps> he goes from a hottie to like this massive beefcake. He's like twice his own size. Magnificent. Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. <laughs> you could offer to make him more. But he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping? <laughs> I've just been keeping coleslaw on ice all day. <laughs> Crying in food safety. Look. We're good at making food. We're not good at keeping it good. <laughs> Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. You are. Oh no. <laughs> Let's. Are we? Are we gonna look at the urn? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're going to poison the colonel. Look. Look. It's fine. He's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. Hey! Okay. First, we're going to look... At his massive cock. <laughs> oh god, I'm in the way! I'm always in the way! There. I got her now. Oh no. You know, it's a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it just isn't realistic. It's real. Taxidermy? Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. Whew. That's great. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state ver bird of the great state of Kentucky. Tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. Okay, so... Are we looking in this, in this urn? Are we going to look in this urn? I think... I think we're going to look in this urn. I've got to know. You take a closer look at the large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty. But when you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. Oh, no. It says, Here lie the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy. Uh, let's... Let's fucking look at him as a baby. Look at this baby! An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure this must be the Colonel Sanders himself. Oh my gosh. Or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Damn, I feel that. <laughs> Who fr 
frames a baby picture of just themselves. Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded. Am I right? <laughs> oh. Are... Hold on. Hold on. Do you... I haven't clicked on everything, but like this door... Should we... Should we look? Should we look in the door? It just opened. I think I'm gonna look. He opened the door to find Colonel Sanders' closet. Find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. You take one off the hanger and try it on. The jacket's a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug. Breathing in his scent. They say home is where the heart is. Is that what they mean? <laughs> oh, no! I'm on his head! I cannot! I cannot find a place of my own! Where can I exist? Before you look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks why you're wearing his jacket. Colonel Sanders, here's the thing. I'm just deeply horny for you. Aww. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. Can he ask? Oh crap, the jacket! Yes! You forgot to take it off! You decide that now is your moment to make a big move. Tell him you were cold. That's a lie. Fess up and tell the truth. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa! This isn't that kind of game. Yes, it is. Not that we blame you for trying, but still. Huh? I've got to do all that over again? No! Just gonna put my real face on. Ah! <sighs> we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna plow right through this. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. We're gonna get back to his house. We know you failed at lots of stuff. Majestic man. What do you mean that's not kind of that, that kind of game? This is a dating simulator. We're supposed to be thirsty. Hi, Pop. Porco. Ah, he's really just a puppy! Okay. Okay. We're gonna give him our coleslaw. Yeah, we are. He's gonna eat up all of our coleslaw. 
Boom! We knew that was the right decision. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take this opportunity to look at other stuff. So we've looked at the chicken, we've looked in the urn, we looked at the baby picture, we looked in the closet. Uh, let's look at the outside. You gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then, the ghost of student pops up. Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? <laughs> oh no. You open the window and cracked... Oh, crack and the ghost of the student is swept out with the breeze. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's... Let's look at, uh, so we can do another picture, or we can do this candle right here. Uh, I'm gonna do the candle. Scented candle, a scented candle. You pick it up and identify the smell. Power tool? Freshly starched collar? Piece of wood floating in a lake? Summer of 69. Nice. Can I get some nice in chat? We, we're not, we're not really gonna pass this up without saying nice, are we? You have nice emotes? Please drop them. Uh, I need a nice emote. No, it's one of the secret recipe. Noise! Thank you, thank you. It's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's... Noise. <laughs> okay. Should we look at the safe? We should look at the safe. It must be where he keeps his secret recipe. You think of what number is is important to the Colonel Sanders, then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11, the safe opens. Inside it, you find a single note. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? No! No. It cannot. That is gross. Uh... I guess we're just gonna look at a picture. Hey, look at this boy! One of the framed uh, photos shows you an old man who looks a bit like the Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing them. Aww. Yay, friends. You look closely and see there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. The door! It's the door! We're gonna do it! We're gonna get it right this time. We're gonna get it right this time. Hi, Colonel. Hello. Hi, this is... Um... Yeah. <laughs> Nelly. Welcome back, Viral. That's the attitude we need. We're getting horny on main. Hell yeah. Uh, we tried to, like, make a move on the colonel, and the game was like, hey, hey, it's not that kind of game. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's not that kind of game? And then I cried. <clears throat> Aww. Aww. So, we gotta pick the right one. There's three options. Uh, this is not it. You fess up and tell the truth. You tell him you're cold. I think I'm gonna lie this time. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I just got a little cold and thought this might warm me up. Colonel Sanders smiles and scoots toward close to the fireplace. That seems to have been the right answer. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little closer? Dang! Suddenly, everything feels like it's moving so fast, too fast. Final exams are tomorrow. You should be thinking about what you're going to cook. I should be home studying. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. 
but the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Hmm. Yes, Horny? <gasps> ah! <laughs> I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence! Okay. I'm going to bring myself down here so you guys can get the full effect of whatever this, whatever this dream sequence is. Hey, That's fine. You don't need to see me. And we're awake. You awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Oh my goodness. Such a pretty place. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is the day that is a day that could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. Blank. In some jurisdictions, Blank isn't evil. Yeah, even baby Sanders has a goatee and a drums and a chicken drumstick. Uh, isn't even legal, but if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. I was hoping he was going to be shirtless. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and your mouth waters at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. Ah! Uh! So good looking. Ah. Ah. You taste Colonel Sanders' food, and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say that we're a perfect match? Put some honey on them biscuits, that's right. That's right. How presumptuous. My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Such confidence. <laughs> I read the first thing completely wrong. I read it completely wrong. I'm not gonna say what I read, but if you know, you know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> such confidence, such grace could be the world's greatest gift to cookery. What's <laughs> probably viral. Flatter him. You know, I think we may make a great team. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eyes as he gazes out the window. <laughs> and with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Business partner? Could he be talking to you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. <laughs> there is still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School Acad Academy for Learning awaits no one. You get home and find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. Ah! Where have you been? Oh, Miriam. I... Because I had heck one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. It's okay. I was just... But now that turns out you're fine. I can finally go up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but you will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date! I think I can believe that. Since I'd been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him, you better keep your dials turned to polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure. We could, I could get to know the little metallic guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends. But things quickly spiraled out of control. Did she just say skydiving? As if that's a typical first date thing to go on <laughs> to the talking pressure cooker. <laughs> and now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell the whole story. However, bottling up are the details of your own night 
Just too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house. Mank! Did you say that earlier? Someone said that earlier. Did you say that earlier? I get it. I get it now. Um, I get it. Yes. Heck yes. Uh, back to Colonel Sanders' house, where I spent the night with him. You what? Nothing happened, but the emotional connection was... Wowzers. Wowzers. Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. What? So she gets to tell me about how she went on a date with a blender. And she tells me to move on when I had a literal emotional connection to Colonel Sanders. How dare. First off. That's fucking rude. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. Oh, you can't see it because of the con- the freaking uh, closed captions. Thighs are out, and they look great. Uh, when you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop. Not Pop! Though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. Because, you know, he's Pop. Pop can't. He's un- he's incapable of, uh, of realizing what's going on around him. He cannot do it. <laughs> God. God damn. What's oh, a swirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, it's great. I'll order you. Oh, order you up one right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles is a dog and a treat. Uh. Oh, you can get your swirly dipped too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at this school. Oh no. There is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school. But who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? She's crying. The majesty. You've got some nerve, horny, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. You clench your fist. But the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince from pain. It's true. Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well give up. I'll never give up. Ever. <laughs> never give up. Never surrender. Colonel Sir Sanders arrives. Just as it appears, things are going close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person. He senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Horny, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Uh -huh. I stuck my hand in a mixer. Sanders. I stuck my hand in a mixer. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Uh -huh. No one likes you, Ashley. Okay. Technically, I don't believe a winner was declared, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? Hmm. What about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That is a lot of words to say. It was bland. Ah! Excuse me, horny. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk to class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine foods. See you inside, horny. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who... You know she really is. You walk across the quad to get some distance. In an attempt to distract yourself, 
from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley. You take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, that's a book! It looks like bad news. It's just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I don't really believe in that magic stuff. A grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it were really powerful? I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open a page covered with arcane warnings, cast only in case of extreme emergency. It says around the edges of the page. I could use this spell here and it says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. Just checking my microfest. If I scrub Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus on the upcoming final exam. That is way drastic. You could do something else like anything else. Not rooted in dark magic. Maybe tie a string around your finger. Okay, fine. It is drastic, but drastic times call for drastic measures. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse for trying it to try it out. Don't! No, we want to remember this boy. No. We do not forget this man. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Sprinkles, the best boy. He's already in the classroom, waiting for students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want you all to know, I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. He must be hungry. Reach for some old homework to give him as a snack. Dogs can be rather unpredictable, especially Sprinkles. Wait to see what happens. We're gonna just wait. Sprinkle stops in his tracks. He focuses on the window. The room is deadly silent. Silent. My nose! When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns feral and runs to the window of the classroom. He begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Terrence! I told you never come back here! Terrence, I will destroy you! Terrence! The squirrel's name is Terrence! Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drool flying off his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? You'd better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again. After Sprinkles is satisfied that his presence has been felt, not only by not only Terrence, but every other, any other squirrel in hearing distance, he returns to his professional tone. Ahem, I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Horny, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom. You see, but before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over into the class. Sprinkles is interrupted by words and sparks coming from the back of the room. I told you to save it for after class! Oh, Clank! No! You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? <clears throat> Miriam and Clank appear to be arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. Where? But no! You had to show off to your cool kid friends Jeff and Joan, J and J forever. Watch us form a triangle midair as we descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? Bzzz, bzzz. Yeah, well, that doesn't make it a great date. Oh, Beep. Work. Uh. <laughs> then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can hold hands as you pedal down the mountain or off a cliff for all I care. Sad beep. Clink begins to shudder. Steam pours out of the gaps in his panel. And then a loud ding stops in his tracks. You can't... Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Sad. 
So sorry, boy. Let's just... We're just gonna... Real fast, this is... Ah. Uh, I don't know what these filters are anymore. What are these filters? Big sad. Ugh. The professor's sound effects are pretty realistic. Yes. Yeah, I had those imported. <laughs> no amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that clank. Dang! So spicy. Clank burps out a completely defried sneaker. Considering that he himself has wheels, not feet, that's not entirely clear where it came from. Oh my gosh. In terms of deep fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. <laughs> oh, <Ray. laughs> okay, I'm very baked. Uh, nothing new. <laughs> and I was making some SpaghettiOs and I was like, why not put some cheese on it? And oh my God, it's so good. Ah, <laughs> I love that, Araya. Some, that's some good energy. It's prime. In terms of deep-fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see that entire thing go down. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pal over the final day of school. Oh, no. Wah. Well, that was unfortunate. But we mu mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. Test time approaches. See you all in the arena. The, the, the arena. Arena. Ah! But before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey, Miriam. You okay? Ugh. Okay. I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug, spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. <laughs> How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? Her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you, we're gonna cruise through this final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City. Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. <laughs> You're not going to saddle up with Colonel Sanders' stallion? And right off into the sunset without me. No, I'm very much gonna do that. Yeah. Um, I'm just here for you as a friend. But like, if I can get, uh, if I could get a seat on that horse's back behind that man. Hell yeah, I'm doing it. I'm so sorry. You may not need anyone. I do. Of course not. Well, maybe, sort of. But I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it. And a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Pop or Clank, why would it be Pop? He's a little, little toddler. Or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, this whole year. So what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first someone you show a little interest in, anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. I should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. And I bet that Professor Dog is going to love it up. While you were prep talking, Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay because you had a better idea how to spend your time before your exam. You've decided to head to the arena early and practice the dish. 
Uh, this is it. The location of your final challenge. A test of will. A test of courage. A test of talent. And a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van, the supposed man-man, and his evil -er counterpart, Ashley. As planned, you begin to run through the quick test of the recipe you've been working on. Horny's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish comes in second comes second nature to you and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven but as soon as you do your cram session is interrupted by colonel sanders and cherry blossom petals horny what are you doing in here there's still time before the knockoff joe star yes van van the knockoff joe star absolutely there's still time before the exam Oh, just taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake, and the smell is slowly filling the space around mm. you. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were in here cooking something delicious. You'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook-off. It's fair. That's fair. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when oven timer goes off behind you. Uh, mess up about your practice dish. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know, my nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards away. He's a fucking... Okay. Alright, come here. Up. Up, up, up. Get up here, you have two seconds to get up here. Okay, bye. <laughs> He's just like, I just came here to say hello. You can see he's right there. Hello, Tinker. Hello. Oh, actually, you can't. I've cropped him out. I'm so sorry. Come here. Come on, Stinky. Ow! I need to trim your nails, sir. I need to trim your nails. Okay, are you going to hang out with me for the rest of this? Are you just going to chill? Okay. That's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. You know it was a pot pie just from the smell? Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. It is tinker time. It's always tinker time. Look at this boy. Such a pain in my butt. You're such a pain in my nose. I love you too, Tinker. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? <laughs> no. I can smell that it was made with a heaping helping of TLC. But I'll probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. Yeah, I need to pull it out. The moment of truth. Wow. Look at that gorgeous food. It makes me so hungry. <gasps> it's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking. And I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rolls. Hi, Tinker. Yes. Hi, Tinker. He just... He's made himself fit into the tiniest space. There are no rules except to cook with everything you've got. Okay. You step up to the cook-off cook of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese plus pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that'll pull the edge off the victory. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are prepare, prepping wildly elaborate dishes per their usual over-the-top selves. Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big and go small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices. But he's trying to find a way to improve something on his perfect, his original recipe. Trademarked. Fried chicken! The intensity in the room starts at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his chicken as it levitates through the air. Egg wash! Oh no. You're gonna lay down, Tinker. Miriam furiously injects ingredients into itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, blessed bastard, 
Bass Baster Blaster. Oh my god. That was tough. Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roid. No, that's terrible. Ashley scoops her pastries off the, the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula. Even Clank gets in on it. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Wait, when did Clank, Clank learn to speak English? <gasps> it's the singularity as was foretold. <laughs> no, we mustn't let it happen or the appliance uprising will take us all. self destruct Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out the back door of the arena. As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's most certainly evil magic? No, do it the hard way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? We don't use that around here unless we're going to get that doggy back. I'm going to do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders, that you've cho chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. Hey, I believe in you, horny! <laughs> Miriam notices Aww. too. And I've always believed in you, horny, since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever! Are you gonna go? Are you leaving? What are you doing? Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> He's so clumsy. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're cheering f here, who's cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. Actually already done. So I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet, but Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. Uh -huh. It's a secret ingredient. However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. And where in the world did she get Eye of Newt from? The boiling pot explodes, Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve, the Spork Monster. Steve? What happened to Borko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many. I think Borko had the day off. <laughs> <laughs> you have conjured Steve, and I hate to battle, so I'd say you're doing pretty all right. Oh, hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. <laughs> you crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Find it by hanging out. Yeah, go for it, Steve. I am not a spork. You are a spork. You're the best spork. These stands. This is a spork stan account. Steve the spork monster notices that you've got the grimoire stashed between your cooking station. I see what you've, you're up to. Crisscross some magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? Yeah. You guessed it, sorta. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to! I've always wanted to be a top chef. Actually, you know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country, you can feel spork monster winding up to tell you a very long and involved story. You don't know how exactly where they came from, but it seems like it was probably lonely there. Aww, actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. No! Sporky Steve! I understand. It's just a kind of monster school where I'd fallen asleep doing scare tactics and when I woke up, you toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes the hit. Never mind. I'll tell you later. Good luck! <laughs> Having suffered this huge setback, you don't know how you could ever win. You summon extra power from deep within yourself! <laughs> yes. I wish I had, like... An EFX remote? That'd be nice. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... Yes, Horny, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Oh no, I'm blocking him. There. 
Knees weak, arms spaghetti. You can see this boy. Jenkins. <laughs> oh my goodness. You went up to my monologue. How dare. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds are preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will win. I will show the world my cookery. Knees weak, arms spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Arm sweater spaghetti already. It's spaghetti. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know with that, this power, you can do anything. You know that with this power, you can do anything. Except turn back time, which would be super useful. Because while you were powering up, your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served. But don't worry, dear horny. You may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impress with your fortitude. Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. I've been watching you today. I must say, I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. And the pinches. Rolling with the pinches and the punches. He steps up to your station. Stands right beside you. I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese. And time is almost up. You're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never been my thing. There are no rules. I follow my heart. What? A uh, guy. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come on. Okay. Are you ready to... Are you gonna hang out for a while now or are you gonna just bail again? Okay. I think he's ready to hang out for a while. What a guy. Ah, your beans are wet. Why are your beans wet? Why are your paws wet, sir? Tinker, your paws are wet. Tinker went piggy dipping. You went piggy dipping in the piggy pond. You went sausage swimming. Ah! Sausage swimming. Sausage swimming. Okay. Come on. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal you the most delicious fried chicken tenders. You've ever laid your eyes on. Oh my god! Tinker! <laughs> Calm down, my love. Uh, I need you to just, like, settle in, okay? Let's... Hello. Hello. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. Are you suggesting... If we combine forms, forces, we can form the perfect fr food union. Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone's been waiting for. Boop. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. It seems we're missing some students. Pop? Clank? From off screen, you hear the pure innocent giggle that can only come from one student. <laughs> I'm flying! It sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. Miriam, would you mind? Inside the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from there right now! God damn it, Pop! Let me guess! Did Van Van have something to do with it? Oh no, that wasn't. That's not. Ah! Stop it! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me guess. Did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asks for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought a wedgie was a salad. It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how, how he didn't cook anything. No! Stop! You sit still or stay down. Pick a... I need one hand. You see this guy? You see him? I think. He does this. And you just knocked something down. Pinkerton. How dare you? You need to get down. <laughs> you knocked over my Mr. Me Seeks. I know. 
Gosh. He's such a pain in the patella. Can you get your paw out of my shirt, please? Can you please remove your cold paw from my shirt, please? Thank you. No. No. Nope. Nope. Tinker is baby. Eh. No. Stop. He's kicking my leg. No. No. You don't get. No. No. You're such a pain in the patella. Get down there. Okay. Okay. Am I going to be able to play my game now? Hmm? I can't feel my legs. May I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks. I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCSAL history, but it's ex not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second. Franks. Franks. Clank. Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear his signature were, uh, or other onomatopoeia, but there is none. Somehow he must have gotten unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Ah! I was... What was wrong with that? What was wrong with that? Tinker. Tinker. My love, my darling, my little boy. You're going to hop down, and then in two minutes, you're going to want back up. And you're going to forget that this all happened. And you know how frustrated you feel right now? You're going to forget about that the second I put you down. The second I put you down, you're going to forget about that. And then you're going to be back. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to continue my game. Oop. I need this hand that you're, like, sitting next to. Yes, it has been a long semester. It's been three days, Sprinkles. Three days. Wow, three whole long days. But after a day... Y'all... After days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles in a savory soup. That is beyond adorable. My word, it's so delicate. Is that a teeny tiny uh, Naruto Maki? I spy a float in its itsy bitsy bowl. Yes, chef. You made a prediction? Heck yeah, make Okay, thank you so much for the prediction. Please uh let me know what you guys think. 15 minutes. Dang. Okay. So <laughs> Let's take a look. It's set to 15 minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to do this thing. Thank you, Araya, for setting that. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Oh my goodness. Yes, Sprinkles. And some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Why was that su such a, like, a visceral image? Sublime. Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on. I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine. I'll enjoy it by myself. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. 
It's less than a thimble's worth of soup. A plus! Rarely do I taste such a dish with as much love poured into it as yours. Good job, Miriam. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Horny, for helping me believe in myself. Van Van, you're up. Oh, the little dog booty. Little dog booty. Gosh dang it, I'm always in the way. Here, it's gonna be right here. Now, describe your dish. I made uni over smooth egg custard in an axe hone hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. Did you skewer the type of urchin with spines from a second different colored type of urchin? Yes, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly what I did it. It's a bit, a bit much is kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? It did look cool. Sprinkles leans in to sniff the uni. But he can't. It is fun. It is so fun. I've never made it this far. It is so good. Um. So he gets a pot it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof woof. Please be gentle with my cuisine. Grrr. <laughs> Finally, Sprinkles goes all in, tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back, his tongue poked and prodded. Oh no! Van Van! Ouch! My tongue! The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. I can't eat this! It keeps poking my tongue! This qualified! A stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles would make it difficult to eat? Dejected, Van Van does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour? Put your hair away, sir. Don't discount simplicity. This isn't the last you've heard of me. Before forcing us to endure his swollen tongue after another moment, Sprinkles graciously laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm a dog. I can, and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley. It's time to step up. Am I in? I think I'm probably in her way, but it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> now describe your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rose water syrup tossed with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. <gasps> I don't know why I have hiccup burps right now. Ah! Eh. Ah! Why? I just want to stop hiccuping. Eh. That actually doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in every any way. It's very fragile. And meant to be a display piece. Yeah, fancy pants Ashley. Coming in here with that fucking please don't eat the food that I made. Fuck you, bitch. Don't eat the food at a cooking school? Got toast in your ears or something? Horny, I told you it's a display piece. Well, fuck you, bitch. Ashley, I must say it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it, and I did an extremely good job cooking it, too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. Damn. She is so spicy. Hey! Why are there more votes that I will not get the love? You guys have no... No faith in me. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. The food cannot- if the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. Disqualified! Oh no! Rage overtakes Ashley, and she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. <laughs> you wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you. And with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake nice and liked by everyone. This isn't the last time you've heard of me, either. If this class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. 
two chefs. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. That looks so fucking good. I want I want KFC now for dinner. I'm so fucking hungry. Uh oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in the kitchen, you give me this. This! And completely blow me away. In my 49 talk year life, I have never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. Sporko 3.0? I, yeah. Uh, you're right. You pass! You pass! And you pass! And you get a pass! Everyone gathers around and takes partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win! Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even Van Van and Ashley are drawn back to it by its magnetic fragrance. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. And there were supposed to be more battles. But come on now, how could they do better than this? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking area, the humbled decor seems downright cute and cozy. DJ Dog is in the house! Ow, ow, ow! DJ Dog, hell yeah. You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned world renowned turntablist? Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Oh my goodness! Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were villains. Ashley is a babe! For a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting. No ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the school's bylaws. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick you... Trick to get you to finally notice me? Oh, amusing. And now that everyone's gotten together... It's the Spork Monster! He's totally mellowed out. Everyone, this Spork Monster is no more. From here out, I prefer everyone refer to me by my new name, Party Monster. Student tries to finish what he had to say, but everyone is too wrapped up talking to Spork, sorry, Party Monster. Dejected, student walks off. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and you know she's gonna do great. She's so cute! A red carpet rolls out across the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? It's Pop! He's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for good reason. Walking the carpet, you see perched atop his dirty chef hat. A crown? Welcome back, Pop! I know you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma, so we had it mailed to you dire directly to your father. We figured the least we could do for the school's dean. His dad is the dean? Dang. Oh, now I get it. And we get the new wing in the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of the chancellor of such and such. You guys are mean to me. You don't believe that I'll get the love. The music at the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparkling, sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank, who has, arrived late, who has arrived late to the dance. Now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank. I am not of this earth. I am actually from far away planet in another dimension. What? What? Hmm. I actually feel like I knew this the whole time. Now that I've learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? Go with him. I don't know what to say. Go with him. Besides, no, obviously. I've just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life to figuring out who you are, Clank. Spicy. 
You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear that she has managed to surpass you in that regard. I understand. Kind of. Humans are weird. Humans are weird, Clank. A portal opens up and Clank disappears. But they put more chicken nuggies. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Howdy. Oh my god. Howdy, classmates. Sorry, it's just a simple outfit, but like, dang. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not just to give them a bucket of chicken. This time, it's a full meal. Homie, you are the full meal. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? What? No, it's not the end. As everyone feeds on their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Horny? What are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualities you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, I don't know, a spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It truly is my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off. And I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, horny. How sweet. We'll work together and play together. Colonel St Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, um, I think this is just something I need to go do by myself. But who will help run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you think running- do you really think running restaurants is the best path- best path forward? Could it be? You found a love connection, but failed to earn his respect as a chef. Can you live with only half of him? What do you mean? Will you be able to endure sharing him with other love? Life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll at a pastry school. Oh my dear. Or me. I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end. I won the love, but not the respect. So whoever voted that I didn't get the love, I got the love. Got the love. Okay? The poll wasn't about nothing about respect. Got the love. Prediction result is yes. Whoever voted for me. <laughs> Griff, how dare you? No, so I want his love, but not his respect as a as a chef. Uh even though even though he was like, oh my god, this cosa is amazing. Enjoy your nuggies. Whoever voted that I would win the love. Uh Griff, how dare.
How dare. How dare you, Griff? I thought we were friends. Uh, Viral, congratulations on the Nuggies. Uh, I think Deegan, congratulations on the Nuggies. Uh, and whoever else voted that I would get Nuggies. Um, this is kind of perfect timing because we're coming up on our 40 minutes. That did, yeah, it was, yeah. That was good. Um, let me switch scenes really fast. Boop. Let's move this over here. I hope that that game was everything you guys have wanted and more. Uh, I wish that you could, I wish that you could have like actually gone on dates with Colonel Sanders outside of going to his house. Uh, I've never beaten the game. So this is my first completion run of the game. Uh, big happy that we did that. Maybe we'll do another dating sim. I've got to find, uh, we'll see if we can find more dating sims and we'll just keep doing them as challenges. I don't know. What's the next challenge we should do? We, uh, we had a lot of fun with this one and earning it. Oh my gosh, you guys kicked its but um let's see let me i'm gonna open up steam really fast and now i can send i love you colonel sanders into i have a completed section in my my steam library of stuff and so now i can move this over there hell yeah hell yeah i've played this game for 11 hours i told you guys i played this game but i've never beaten it I've never beaten it. Um, it's so good. I wish they would come out with another one. That would be really nice. I liked that. How, how did you guys like the game? Because, like, it was a lot. It was a lot of reading and a lot of struggling to read. Uh, very much struggled that entire time to read. It was tough. I'm going to look up dating sim. Found it hilarious. Good. I am so glad. Um, let's see. No. <laughs> oh. Dream daddy. Do I have that? Do, I don't think I have that. Let me look. Excuse me. I don't. Oh my gosh. Dream Daddy is one that I want to play. Um. No, I don't want that. How dare. <laughs> How dare. I just want a list of dating simulators. Um, I guess it's not going to let me do that. Like, how rude. How rude is that? Uh, let's see if I can find one. I'm looking up dating simulators on Steam. We're looking on Steam. Uh, if there's a dating sim that you want to see me play, uh, I am definitely down Put it in the Discord, please. Uh, because that's amazing. And I, I love it. Simulation. Dating. Dating simulator. Dating sims. Let's see. Ooh, so many dating sims. Blackjack, wife. Blackjack and waifus. Oh my goodness. Attack helicopter dating simulator? Hell yeah. Crush, crush. Oh, we do need to make sure that nothing is NSFW. We want to keep it in terms of service. Um, ooh. Monster prom. I've got that on Switch. It would take quite a bit to get it set up, but I could play monster prom. That's a really cool dating sim. 
Oh, Doki Doki Literature Club? Oh, man. Y'all, if you know, have, have, who's seen the Doki Doki Literature Club dating sim? Um, it's insane. Oh, that's right. I played Boyfriend Dungeon. That's a dating simulator. Yes, Doki Doki. I have a song for that game. You have a song for that game. Doki Doki? My hand itches. My hand itches. Um. Let's see. Squid Girls? Like Squid Games. Yep, I'll send it to you. Please do. Please do. Um. What are some things that you guys want to see? Uh, it's been a minute since we did an art stream, so I could do an art stream soon. Um, I still want to do that mod merch for my mods. Get that taken care of. Get that going. Um, but like, I, I just, I want to kind of like broaden my, my horizons a little bit. So honestly, you guys, okay, cool. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm already excited about it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it after. It's a real chill song. It doesn't see it doesn't look chill. Um, but I've seen Doki Doki Literature Club played and it is insane. It is absolutely insane. Um, but I'm very excited for it. We could take a look. Because I so here's the thing. We're hitting our four hours, so I'm not going to say I'm not going to play anything else today. Um, I'm honestly so happy that we start to finish did the whole game. I was upset. I was concerned that I was going to have to do it in another stream, but I'm really glad that I didn't have to do that. Um, so let's I'm going to take a look and we'll maybe pick out our next challenge. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm trying. So I've got Game Pass open. And so I'm going to be looking in Game Pass for some games. Because um, I mean, if I don't have to pay for it, because I'm already paying for Game Pass, then cool. You know, you know, let's take a look. Do we want to do a scary game? Cause we can we can go from like a the horny game to a scary game, uh, as like the switch to the next challenge. Have you heard of Deep Stranded? No, I have not. Um, I can look it up. I will one hundred percent look it up. Let's open up deep uh Steam and look up deep. You mean strand you mean stranded deep? It's reversed. Kinda like raft, but more detailed, and you control where the raft goes. That looks really cool. It so it's like, hey, you've played raft in the forest. Uh both? <laughs> so the game's like, is this game relevant to you? Is it? Um, so I will put it on my, uh, wish list. I'm going to add it to my wish list and, um, I'm going to keep an eye on it because the game is still in early access. Uh, and $14.99 is not bad. That's about what I paid for Raft. Um, and I don't know how much Raft is now. It's 19. Yeah, so I paid. I paid that for Raft. Um, and it was absolutely amazing. I've been thinking of checking it out myself. It looks like the happy medium between the forest and Raft. At least by the video. Uh... So I'm going to keep that on my lookout. I'm going to keep keep looking for that. Um, 
Let's see. Do we want to do more simulator games? Like, how do you guys feel about simulator games? Like, we've got Farming Simulator. Uh, there's Power Washing Simulator has been pretty popular lately. Um, lawn Mowing Simulator. Let me know what you think about that, because I'm not against them. Um, but if I've got no, like, if I got no one here to talk to you and hang out with, then it'd be kind of hard. But totally down for it. Totally down for it if you guys want that. Ooh, let's see. Yeah, there's Lawn Mowing Simulator. Power Wash Simulator seems fun. Okay, so I'm going to look it up in Steam and put that on my wish list. Okay, so it's on my wish list. Um, and I think it's multiplayer. It looks like it's multiplayer. Yeah. Um, so what I might do is I might set um, a couple challenges. Actually, let me open up. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think. I'm big, my big brain, big bad. Am I bad brain, bad, big brain, bad, bad brain? Uh, let's see. Manage predictions, host a channel. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay, let me, I've got so many windows open. Let's go to channel points, manage rewards and challenges. Uh, we have completed that. So what I might do is I might set several challenges and whatever we finish first is what we'll do. So I'll set a scary game one, like uh, Alien Isolation, uh, a cozy game one, and maybe like a simulator game one. Maybe like a dating sim and regular simulator. I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to get a feel for what you guys want. Because uh, I want to mix it up. I, I don't want to get stuck in like the one thing that I do, you know? You know? Um, and I enjoy playing different types of games. So I might do that. Also, once I get like more space, once I can get a bigger space, I want to start doing some VR streams too. I think those are so cool. Like, I just love Beat Saber. I love Beat Saber. Um, so as per scary games, I've got Outlast... I've got the Alien Isolation games. Um, and I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to beat the games, but I'm definitely going to play them. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you have not played Remnant, it is so good. Hello, Ryo. How's it going? Uh, we're just finishing up. We, uh, yes, thank you so much. Uh, we just finished playing some of the KFC dating simulator. It was amazing. Um, and we're just kind of like getting a feel for what we want to do next time. Uh, cause we need to get a new challenge going. People need something to spend their points on. So I'm considering setting up a couple of them. Viral, viral knows all. Viral knows all. All knowing being. Um, let's see. There are so many cute games. I'm obsessed. Uh, let's see. Dang. So I've got a couple games that I have put on my wish list. Obviously, no one has to buy them. Um, they're available if you want to. You don't have to. At some point, I'm going to get to them. That's kind of the, the, the deal. At some point, I'm going to get to them. Um, but they are in the wish list, so if anyone sees them and is like, you know, I want to see the stream, like, soon, like, now, then, I mean, nothing is stopping you. Uh, let's see. 
Also, I gotta check my library. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We could play some Unravel next time. Let's see. I'm trying, like, my brain is, like, is, is like, smoking. <laughs> if I were to remove a headphone, there'd be a little smoke coming out my ear. Uh, how did you guys like Labyrinthine? Because I played it with Griff, Wholesome Drywall, and Loser BB, but we haven't... Um, it probably can. Um, oh, my headphones just turned off. It probably can handle it. Um, and if you guys really want to do, to, like, get a COD stream, we definitely can. Um, <laughs> got him. I didn't hear it. I just know what it says. Um, I would watch a cozy COD stream. Would I... How would I be able to do a cozy COD stream? I mean, I'd figure it out. I'd figure it out. But if you guys want a COD stream, I'll add it. I'll add. So... <laughs> I don't know why. We're doing a cozy COD stream. Um... COD, but cozy. And then... We're gonna make. I gotta go. I gotta go back. Have a wonderful stream. Thank you so much for popping in and saying hi, Ryo. Um. So we'll set. We'll set the amounts for these at one hundred thousand points on the board for everything. Dang it! This is why I don't bind things. Fine. This is fine. This is why I don't bind things. Okay. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. That's 10,000. One more zero is 100,000. Uh, number of days. Uh, the most I can do is 30. But it's totally fine. We'll do that. Uh, and there's the cozy cod stream. Ah, I can't. Let me get rid of those. We'll set one for a simulator game so it doesn't have to be dating sim. We'll take a poll when we hit it um, and decide what kind of simulator game we want. 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Okay, and then number of days. Again, we're gonna send that to 30. I think we can get some of these going. That's like no problem. Uh, and then we'll do spoopy game stream and then 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. <laughs> That's how I know that I've entered enough zeros and I don't add too many. Okay, so I've got three challenges up. Whatever we finish first, I'm about to start it. I haven't started them yet. But whatever we finish first is going to be the first one that we do out of the three. So start, 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 start. All three of them are started. Whatever we finish first is what we do first. Um, so just to kind of wrap things up, thank you for the 2K to the cozy stream, Araya. I appreciate it so much. Um, so before we head off, I want to talk about a couple things. For those of you who were there last night, I appreciate you coming into my impromptu stream. Uh, it means a lot to me. And we're going to be doing it again next month. That exact date I will put into the Discord. So if you're hanging out and you're interested in what I'm talking about, uh, it's in the check in the Discord, exclamation point Discord. <laughs> Thank you guys for just dumping your points. I appreciate it. Um, because that's less that you can torture me with. So well, basically last night we had the radio interview, uh, with a local radio station and a good friend of mine who is in the discord. 
Um, and I'm going to be taking the VOD today and putting it on. But if you were there last night, you know it was a lot of fun. Uh, if you watched it back, we had so much fun. And we didn't get to go through everything that we wanted to. So um, we're going to be revisiting next month. And again, that exact date I'm going to be um, putting in the Discord. So um, with that being said, Uncensored Sass, the podcast, if you've not checked it out, check out the YouTube channel. We've got some videos. We've got that live episode that we did just before Valentine's Day, which is today. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Loser Baby and I had a great time. We want to do more live episodes and we're going to be doing them over on our YouTube channel. We have no intention currently to stream our podcast on Twitch um, just because we've got nothing associated really with the podcast itself other than our personal accounts on Twitch and we've got the YouTube channel and we'd rather be able to like have people hang out, watch the live on YouTube and um, then maybe go watch a video. And if you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, what are you doing? We post videos every other week. Uh, we've got some episodes up now. We've got lots of episodes up now. I edit the videos. Not all of them are great, but some of them are pretty dang good. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Aurea. You can find me between streams on Discord and Twitter. Uh, I'm at the okayest everywhere. So you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, hover, hover, follow me on hover. Um, yeah, it's great. I really appreciate you guys being here. You guys are really like the meat and potatoes of what this channel is. And I'm really just like the fluffy bun that everyone sees. I'm just the big old loaf of bread that everyone sees in the sandwich. I don't, I'm really hungry. So I'm going to be making food metaphors. Um, so tomorrow I'm not going to be streaming, but I will be working on the podcast if you have not followed us on Twitter, that's Uncensored Sass, the podcast, it's at Twitter, uh, you're missing out. We, every time between when we go to record, we give shout outs to everybody who followed us between the episodes. So if you want that shout out, uh, yeah, head over to the podcast Twitter, go follow us, share us, give us some love. And uh, you'll get a shout out in the next episode that we'll probably record tomorrow. Honestly, we need to record. So we're going to probably going to be recording tomorrow. So before tomorrow, if you follow the podcast, Twitter, you're going to get a shout out. That's lovely. That's lovely. So without any further ado, let's find someone within the uh, just like all month. We are sending off the raid to creators in the Black History Month wheel the carousel so we're gonna find ourselves another creator that we have not rated before and um we're gonna give we're gonna give them some love lots and lots of love let's see let's show more mm. oh we've got a just chatting person so they're celebrating their partner anniversary. Heck yeah. So let's head over. We're going to, it's Chelsea Bites. So we're going to start the raid. Chelsea Bites. We're going to send over the raid and give them some love. Um, just like with every single raid that we do, we're going to walk in and be very respectful. Um, this is their space that we're guests in. I love you guys very, very much. So I hold you to a much higher standard than maybe other people do. Um, you're very welcome. Thank you guys for making this stream possible because without you, like this stream wouldn't have happened. You guys wanted this to happen. And so it's happening. Um, if you've got my raid emotes, go put my raid emotes in the chat. I'm not going to do a raid message today. I'm really hungry and I need to go eat. Um, but thank you guys so, so much. I love you very, very much. I will see you on the next one on Wednesday.
Bye. Child, damn, what the hell? Yo, the okay is. Thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in. I got you, Aunt Money. I got y'all. Your neck has revolted. Yeah, Teddy, if I turn it this way, it hurts like a bitch. Yo, thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> My whore. That was such a long time ago. I'll find that clip, Teddy. Thank you so much for sharing your bits and your bites with us, okay is. I hope you've had a wonderful day. I'm okay still dealing with this tailbone. I miss your face too. Tear, I really hope your tailbone gets better because I understand. I feel you. So, healing vibes from me, boo. Mwah. We're driving through, um, no, I have to get to the East Coast sometimes so I can visit everybody. You'll never forget it? Good. Not you pulling up quotes. Chelsea, if Chelsea clicks her elbows together three times, she goes back to Houston. I remember when Prince said that, and I wanted to fight Prince. <laughs> I did. I'm sick of these quotes. And I literally just used Sarah Bay, and that's it. That's all I got. I got you. I got you. Tanya.